Ellis and also his jumbo leadership qualities on the floor. And as Watley had one guard, and now the noise factor begins to really increase. Here is the man. They call him Mr. Jordan in Chicago. The standing ovation for Michael Jordan from North Carolina, the number three pick in the NBA draft. You know, a lot of pressure has been brought to bear on this young man's shoulder. He is in a, a very awkward position. As, as we said, we know he must be excited, but the position that they're putting this kid in here, building up everything on this team around him is, is going to be something that uh, only a Michael Jordan probably can own up to. And, of course, uh, Kevin Lothry, the head coach, really likes what he's got right now. They do have one problem, and that is David Greenwood, who is uh, apparently holding out at this time. David Greenwood is still having some contractual problems. I think it's going to be uh, interesting to note that depending on how well this front line does here tonight, it's going to depend on well how uh, important the uh, Bulls front office see it to sign David Greenwood. Special presentation. Court. As we will have the opening tap coming up for you momentarily, the officials for tonight's game are Jess Thompson and Wally Rooney. And we are just a few moments away. Here comes the ceremonial taps from the Chicago Cubs. That is Gary Matthews. And of course, the very popular Chicago Cubs left fielder who did all he could possibly do to try to help this team beat San Diego, but they fell one game short. Not a bad year for the Cubs. No. City is definitely excited about the Cubs, about the Bears, and the Chicago Bulls hope to get them equally excited. And this game is underway as it is Michael Jordan who comes down with the basketball. Over to Watley, and we are underway with play on the front court. Swing it to Woolridge on the far side. Round on top to Steve Johnson. Here's Jordan with his first shot of the game. Off the iron, won't drop. Rebound, Steve Johnson follows with a glass and scores. Exactly what Chicago has been hoping for from Steve Johnson. Some power inside. Some just back, didn't see the ball come loose. And as Watley quickly in front court to Jordan. Looking for penetration, spin move, hangs in the air, off the glass and in. And that's what Wes and I were talking about at the pregame show. You knew it was going in. All oh, this excitement, it had to go. Timeout has been called by the Bullets. They don't want to get this one get out of hand early. We'll take a break. 7-19 to play first quarter. The score, full 16, Bullets 8. But to play in a different role. Ricky Mahorn hustling underneath. Can't get it to fall. Jordan to the hoop. Hang in the air. Score! Bullets want time. And the fans. Here at Chicago Stadium, on their feet, they like what they see. 3-11 to play on this game. Chicago has once again assumed command of the contest. 98-82. Back with more action after this. From the floor, so far in this game, he's hit three. Out of three attempts. Jordan, spin move. Bradley, great defense to get back. Jordan goes up, hits it, and is fouled by Bradley. I think the official got kind of excited on that play. I think Dudley Bradley played great defense. He was with him the whole way and just went up and tried to, to uh, contest the shot as we see. Dudley was not fooled by a great move by Michael Jordan. He just goes up and just puts a hand up. And a hand is part of the ball in the NBA. Jordan to the line for his first free throw. He hits it. Five points on the night so far. The other end, the assist to Frank Johnson. Back down low, they go to Woolridge. Outside, Watley with the J. Too short. Rebound, Jordan. He got it. Jordan in double figures now with 10. And here he comes, steaming into the front court. Jordan with the pass off to Corzine. He scores. He's going to make everybody on this Chicago team look better. And they actually are. He's going to make better basketball players out of all of them. Biggest lead so far of the night, 45-26. Chicago leads Washington. We'll be back. <laughs> 